So I thought I should make a really quick video just showing everyone what settings and slicing um, profile I'm using for my Anycubic um, Cobra S1 combo. I've had a few people ask, oh, what settings are you using? What, what's different? What's this? Um, you might have seen in a few videos that the print quality at the beginning was really bad. Um, but I've just recently done this sawfish one and it's come out really nice. Um, this was done with the eSun uh, Silk Silver. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see, see it, but yeah, the print quality is perfect on this one. Uh, really no, no big issue at all. So most of the issues I think was just with the filament. I had some older filament sitting around like uh, for a few months. Um, wasn't really bad filament, but it definitely wasn't like good quality or anything. Um, so I'll just quickly show you what I've done different. I've used the standard uh, settings. So this one comes as the 02 standard, uh, but what I've done is just done a few little changes. So I've done, let's see if I can find it. On the strength one, I've changed the infill to grid. A lot of the time when I use gyroid, that was the standard one. I found it, you get like wobble lines in the print. So I usually like to use grid now. Um, I changed, I think I changed the top to mono, monotopic. It might've been like that from the beginning. Uh, there wasn't anything I changed here. I think I changed this to three. It might've been on two and I changed the speed settings. So that was set to 220. Um, I think that might've been 270. And then I changed the acceleration down to 500 for normal printing and 3000. I could drop it a little more, uh, it doesn't really matter. And originally I did drop the travel down, but I jumped that back up. The main reason I dropped the acceleration down is I find it gets like different temperature settings. Um, and that was the other big thing I changed as well. Uh, I've noticed on the printer, I didn't know this at first, it actually has an RI, RFID um, sensor. So that'll bring up most of your profiles by default, but the same as the Bamboo Labs one. If you go into here, you can actually change the temperature settings, your min and your maximum. Um, I like to drop that down because it's usually quite far apart. Um, so you can have your, let's see if I go to that one. Yeah, you can have your first layer set to 215. Then you can have um, your bottom layer, I think I upped that five degrees. And then I changed the min and max. That was like 185 and 130, I believe. So I just changed those temperature settings. And that's pretty much all I did. Um, and yeah, there's not really much else I had to do. Everything else was pretty standard. Um, the remote print I had originally wasn't working. Um, it was just because it wasn't connected to the Wi-Fi, And that's pretty easy fix. Like you just turn it off and on again on the actual a touch screen and that should fix it and yeah that's the profile i'm using that's pretty much all the standard settings i'm using and so far i really like the printer it's been great like no real issues with it so far